Well, welcome everyone to another exciting class, a class that you're going to benefit greatly from as we look into 2024 and try to grow our businesses by doing a little bit of business planning. So today I'm looking forward to discussing what's happening in the real estate industry as we look into the crystal ball for 2024. We're going to talk about, are you a green fish? Do you have a unique selling proposition? What sets you apart from all the other realtors? Why do business with you? We're going to talk about resources for your business plan for 2024. We're also going to look at some marketing strategies to consider in 2024. It's also another way of saying, let's look at what you know and what you don't know. Should you be adopting or should you be looking at these marketing strategies in your plans for 2024? And are you doing money-making activities? Are you involved with prioritizing making money first in the morning and then being able to set appointments, et cetera, for the rest of the day, answering emails, et cetera? So my name is Glenn Marino. I am the business development manager of Guild Mortgage in Naperville, Illinois. And Tony Marino is the branch manager for Guild Mortgage in Naperville, Illinois. We are your contact people. So let's talk a little bit about the real estate industry. It's so exciting going into 2024. What do we know? In summary, we know that demand is still brisk. We know that uh, rates look like they're going to, or those who are uh, professionals at uh, forecasting in our industry, believe that these mortgage rates should decline to about 6% in 2024. Taking a deeper dive into it, we see that despite a recent slump home prices are expected to continue to rise in 2024. According to Freddie Mac, Zillow, and the National Real Estate of Realtors, with too few homes and too many buyers, NAR expects home prices to rise 2.6% in 2024. Aside from a 42% ramp up in home prices between January of 2020 and June of 2023, many homes in the market still receive multiple offers. While mortgage rates are still elevated, they're currently 7.28 for a 30-year fixed rate, underlying demand for homes has kept prices high. Based on slowing demand or uh, slowing inflation, NAR expects the mortgage rates to drop closer to 6% in 2024. This drop in interest rates will further stoke demand and keep prices elevated throughout the year 2024. So that's the backdrop to which we're going to be doing some business planning as a realtor. So what do you see as opportunities in 2024? And what do you see as challenges? Challenges could be turned into opportunities with the right amount of marketing tools. And opportunities should be strategies if focused upon will help to grow your business in 2024. We're going to be filling out in this session here a business planning workbook. I sent it out to you in advance of the class. Let's look at the workbook and then give our minds an opportunity to expand and see if there's opportunities we want to incorporate into this workbook. Let's explore what we know and what we don't know. So let's take a look at this, this workbook. The workbook is 2024 Business Trade, Creating the Game Plan. Business planning is essential to understanding how your attitude and actions affect your business. You are a business onto yourself, especially in today's market. We're going to spend some time discussing obstacles versus opportunities. Your top three key motivators, suggestions for expanding your lead generation, and knowing your target audience and more. Everyone needs a plan to succeed. A business plan keeps you accountable and on track. An optimal business plan includes firm goals, but it's also fluid. You'll want to update your business plan as you grow and the markets evolve. Why need a business plan? Well, a business plan allows you to stay current with market trends and ahead of the competition, because a lot of your competition doesn't do a business plan. It also helps you track results over time, test lead generation strategies, and develop new marketing strategies. Some of the strategies that can help are identifying obstacles and opportunities, knowing your clients, the keys to success, how to win the day, how to win that listing, know your marketing trends, marketing and social media, lead generation, customer service and retention. These are just some of the strategies that can help. As we go along here, 
you might want to be filling in your own workbook. I've got some examples here. Each one of you is going to have your own individual ideas. So as we look at the workbook, either you're in print form or you got it on your computer, take a look and see, regardless of the market, we each have the power to determine our opportunity. Use the following as a guide to decide what your top three obstacles and opportunities are in the market today. Well, I, I jotted down a couple that I could think of if I was a realtor. Interest rates seem to be an obstacle. They're in the high sevens. Inventory. Inventory is low because those that have two and 3% mortgages don't want to sell. They don't want to go from two and three up to the high sevens. So there's consumer hesitation. It is, it's a little bit of an obstacle. So we have to educate, educate our buyers on temporary buy downs on how to buy a home for zero down, how to buy a home for 1% down, how to get down payment assistance, how to purchase maybe a multi-unit property, two, three, four units, such that the monthly payment is less than or equal to what they, you know, what they've been paying previously. Uh, social media. Um, are we doing, a, are we focused on that? Are we doing enough of it? Are we branding ourselves in social media such that people are looking forward to our next post. Uh, not having a plan in the first place could be an obstacle. And being inconsistent with your CRM. Are we staying in contact with those people that have had a good experience with us? Those are called past clients. Are we staying in contact with prospects on a monthly basis? And again, there could be some inconsistency. Those could be some of the obstacles. Some of the opportunities I'm going to stop here and I'm going to come back to this because this is where opportunities are strategies that you're aware of, that your mind has been exposed to. And you say, you know, what? I would like to do more of that, but I haven't been doing it in 2023. So let's take a look. Let's go back to the agenda and we're going to come back here and fill this out after we've explored a little bit more of what we should be doing in business planning and what some of the strategies are that we could incorporate into 2024. Going back to our agenda. So we'll finish the workbook, you know, after we find out more about what we know and what we don't know. But one of the first questions I have for you, are you a green fish or a goldfish? What are your unique selling propositions for buyers and sellers? Are you one of many agents or are you unique? Uh, a good pictorial of something like that might look something like this. All your agents out there are goldfish. Are you doing the same thing that everybody else is? You're one of a hundred or are you a green fish? Do you have say software called listing booster? Do you have where you can set up a property website for a seller? Do you have a uh, text messaging on a sign writer to gather up uh, buyers that are driving by uh, a listing? You know, do you have property flyers that you can automatically create? These are just, it, do, are you posting socially into Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and to Instagram for your clients? Again, these are all things that start to set you aside as a greenfish, a high-tech, highly organized realtor that gives people's properties great, great exposure. Going back to our agenda. Are you planning on doing the same marketing in 2024 as you did in 2023 and expecting better results? Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results is the definition of insanity. Again, are you going to be a green fish with some unique selling propositions or are you going to be a goldfish and follow the crowd? Do you have a written focused strategies for 2024 or do you run with whatever comes your way? Does your business plan look like this? Simple but focused. Think of it as a tabletop with legs underneath it, and each leg represents a marketing strategy. It could look something like this. And this is a great pictorial. I use it as an example for you. Uh, I would suggest that you, you adopt maybe the first leg and maybe two or three others. I've got many more on here for example purposes, but this is going to give you a focus. This is something I would pin up on my wall in my cubicle. And I would say the first thing I want to focus on 
in 2024 is dripping on my Bob, my book of business, all my past clients. I want to make sure that I have some mechanism that I can give them something on a monthly basis that's automated. So when are you going to do this? You're going to automate it. You're going to have it set up on something called HomeBot, which we'll, we'll talk about in a little bit. You're going to give them what their latest fair market value is on a monthly basis. You're going to show them that, what, that their loan amount has been reduced to X, that the equity in their property is Y dollars. And what you're going to do with that is you're going to say, would you like to do something with that equity? Would you like to upgrade to a bigger home? Would you like to buy a second home? Would you like to buy an investment property? All things that a realtor can help them with. And it's something that you can put in front of them on a monthly basis. Monthly basis on an automated basis. You're also going to be calling your, your past clients every Friday. And what you're going to try to do is you're going to try to call them three times a year. It's a checkup. You've been sending them these automated emails. It's nice to personalize it, to get on the phone, to pick up the phone. If you have, let's say, uh, 400 clients and you need to call them three times a year, that means that you need to call 100 clients in month one, 102, 103, and 104th month. Are you doing that right now? And if not, why not? That should be a part of your focus of staying in contact with them. Yes, they have a house, but again, they're building equity. They have children, they have sons and daughters, they have brothers and sisters. Is there anybody in their sphere of influence that could use your services because they're already happy with yours? Another leg is, are you, are you ready to win every expired listing? This is a great time of year to be going after expireds. You know, nobody wants their home on the market during Thanksgiving, on Christmas, on New Year's Eve. And there's some, there's canceled in the MLSs. Um, there's FISBOs within Zillow. Are you using Listing Booster to create property websites, to create uh, sign writers that go in the lawn to capture buyers? Are you able to post their, their homes into social media sites? These are all things that you can demonstrate to them. And we're going to talk a little bit more about it later on. Is this a strategy that you should be adopting in 2024? Going after expired, cancel their FISBOs. How about those that have little to no listings? Maybe you're new in the business. Maybe it's just that, you know, it's a, a tough time of year for you and you have little to no listings. How about advertising other agents' listings? Again, using your free listing booster account, download, upload the photos that are in the MLS, create the property website. You're going to see that it comes with all sorts of additional bells and whistles that's going to be able to attract buyers. Uh, you're going to be able to advertise these things in a, in a place called MovieTube. It's going to be on Roku, on all sorts of different streaming devices. Uh, this is a, a, an exciting, exciting program that comes to you free of charge through Listing Booster. Are you also doing Facebook posts? Are you doing one, one a week, one a day, I should say, five posts per week and doing one ad a week. That'll cost you $35. You're spending about $120, let's say, a month. Are you, you know, I'm going to be showing you some of the Facebook posts that you should be paying attention to. Are you asking 20 friends of friends to be your friend so that you have a, a broader base of friends to give a, a message to about your products and services? And are you sending out 30 messages a day? To those that are your friends, letting them know about that you've got uh, a new uh, zero down program, that you got another 1%, you know, that you can buy down the interest rate 1% to help get them into a home and then they can refinance free of, char free of lender charges. What about a, a strategy for serving your community? How about getting involved in serving your community matters? That would be the, with the police, with the firemen, with the teachers, with the military, doctors, nurses, EMTs. And in this way, you're going to have your, your lending team pays for the appraisal. Your lending team pay, gives them $7,500 in national merchant discount coupons. You can, it's optional, you can give a rebate check of your commission, say 10%, given back to them as a thank you for them serving in our community as a policeman, as a fireman, as a teacher. And again, once you get into those communities, boy, they spread the good word that their appraisal was paid for. They got a rebate check you know, that they got $7,500 worth of national merchant discount coupons. 
How about walk in the neighborhood every Saturday at 10, 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday? Most people are outside cutting their lawns, trimming their bushes, edging their grass. Uh, wouldn't it be great if you took 200 postcards each Saturday with a link to a landing page that said, would you like to know what your home is worth? You might be able to meet them face to face as they're outside. You might be able to then introduce yourself as the go-to realtor in their neighborhood. Uh, Remind. Remind is a tool within the MLS. It helps you identify those people that are in, have a high probability of selling. Wouldn't you like to introduce yourself? Wouldn't you like to put a door hanger on their door that says, uh, are you thinking of selling in the next six months? If so, uh, take a look at, give them the link to one of your listing booster property websites. Give them the link to the uh, text messaging number, text this number to that number. It downloads the full property website into their phone. Take a look at all the, the technology tools, the marketing tools I have for this other client. This can be yours. Please give me a call and we can discuss. And are you doing another strategy would be to do first time home buyers via Zoom. We give you our Zoom account. We are your guest speaker. I'm your guest speaker. Uh, with that, you just have to invite six or more people. Uh, again, if you were doing a wedding invite uh, for yourself or your son or daughter, you would easily come up with 150 to 200 people. These people, maybe they're homeowners, maybe they're not. If they're homeowners, maybe they've got sons, daughters, brothers, sisters that are not. Maybe they can be invited by you six at a time or more, and they can be shown how to buy a home, how home ownership just got easier. These all come with different days of the week to do this. And you know, this is a, a good, once you've crystallized, and again, we'll go back into the workbook in a little bit. Once you've crystallized what strategies you want, you need to put it into a pictorial like this so you can see it every single day and know this is what I'm supposed to be working on today. This is my focus. All right, going back to the agenda. As far as your planning, does it include a daily, weekly success plan? You need to fill it in, hold yourself accountable, and stay focused for the week. You can give it to Tony Marino each week as your accountability coach. It could look and should look something like this. First off, as a motivated salesperson, what do you do first thing in the morning? What is your morning routine? And many of you don't have maybe a routine, and you should have a routine. Are you? Do you exercise? Do you run? Do you walk? Do you do yoga? Do you meditate? You don't have to do the exercising to, to release endorphins and feel great about your day. But what about reading some uh, motivational uh, book or a motivational uh, saying, uh, meditating? These are all things that set your mind to being your very best that you can be for the day. And then what do you can do? Here's some of your business strategies. You want to call. You want to make 13 calls per day to expireds, FISBOs, uh, other agents, past clients, uh, serving your community matters, your circle of influence, and you're going to re record th the calls that you have made each day. You're going to put in your Facebook post that you did um, one post uh, that you asked for 20 friend requests, friends of friends, and you did 30 messages, copy and pasted it into the messenger and sent it out to people, which was the same post that you did in Facebook. However, you're just letting other friends know that this is, uh, for example, uh, $10,000. If I gave you $10,000 today in down payment assistance, would you consider buying a home tomorrow? Very easy. It also comes with a, a link to a landing page. If you're interested, click this link and we'll get you started. That could be the, the you copy and paste that 30 times into Messenger, send it out to friends within Facebook. And now today they know, those 30 friends know, that if they have sons, daughters, or themselves, they could possibly be looking at getting $10,000 from you. Again, are you doing a weekly presentation to policemen, firemen, and nurses, doctors, EMTs? Are you delivering 200 postcards on Saturdays? What is your home worth? Are you delivering 10 door hangers to remind prospects? Those people that remind said had a high probability of selling in your zip code, in your neighborhood. Did you do that? Did you conduct one home buyer seminar? And 
of all this activity, what kind of leads did you receive? How many appointments did you get set up? How many listings did you get signed? How many buyer agreements did you get signed? This is a accountability for yourself so you can see your scorecard. And you should be giving it to a coach or a mentor. Could be Tony Marino. And you, you know, once a week, once a month, whatever is good for you and Tony, you guys set up a time to just discuss it. Talk about your successes that you're able to accomplish. All Find out what you didn't accomplish and why didn't you accomplish it. Maybe you have to make some tweaks and some modifications to your strategies. Again, nice little scorecard to keep you accountable for your business plan. Let's go back to our agenda. Update your Google Calendar on Sunday with your money-making activities. What time do you start working on your business? Do you get up in the morning and make coffee? And then do you kind of leisurely go through emails and you, know, you, get, you get lost in the news and you, you, know, you don't get started on your day till 10 o'clock in the morning? How about starting at 8, 9 and doing money-making activities first? And what I mean by that is let's go to a typical Google Calendar. So let's go over here to my Google Calendar and let's click off of my calendar and let's go to let's go to Tina's calendar. Okay, so here's Tina's calendar. On Monday at eight o'clock in the morning, she's gonna be calling some expireds, canceled, or FISBOs. She's also gonna do it. Uh, again, on Friday, she's going to call it expired, canceled, or FISBOs. On Tuesday, she's going to advertise other agents' listings. She's going to ask, she's going to look up who's a listing agent, how many listings they have. She's going to ask to have a cup of coffee with them and find out why in the world wouldn't they want her to advertise her, his or her listings for free, creating a, a property website, uh, a, a text message code, put on a sign writer uh, to try and capture more, more leads start posting them in social media again, capturing more buyer leads. This is all great stuff for those who don't have listings. On Wednesday, you know, Tina's going to do a remind door hanger. Um, she can also uh, call the police, the firehouses, the VFW halls, introducing serving your community matters, letting them know that thanking them for their service to begin with. And that, you know, in, in turn, uh, she will be uh, getting her team to pay for any appraisals that they, you know, when they think about buying or refinancing, that they're going to get a discount on title insurance and that they're going to get $7,500 worth of national merchant discount coupons. It might, wouldn't hurt to bring a box of donuts either to the firehouse or to the police station. Again, you're going to see that they're you know, calling past clients here on every Friday, you know, checking out know, using the home bot, the home bot tool which we're going to see shortly is going to send out a monthly email letting people know what the value of their home is how it's been updated what the equity is and what they would like to do with that equity but again personalizing getting out from underneath that monthly email personalizing with a call to past clients making sure that you call your past clients three times a year and then here's facebook posting facebook every single day then you see here asking 20 friends of friends to be a friend. Then you see here 30 messages every day going out to friends within Facebook, taking the post that you put into Facebook, copying it, pasting it, and putting it into messages, Messenger, and get, getting that word out now to 30 friends every single day. And notice on Saturday, walking around with what is your home worth postcard between 10 and 11. And then doing a first time home buyer seminar at six o'clock at night with uh, myself as a guest speaker. And all you've done is ask up to six or plus people, let's get together, let's learn how home ownership just got easier. Great, great way to, uh, to, you know, to organize yourself. And as you accomplish this, what I do is I right click, I click yellow and I say, I'm taking care of it. So I know that I've done this task for, for on Monday. And now I move on to these others. It leaves my afternoon to do all my paperwork, to meet with buyers, uh, to you know meet with sellers, uh, to go over my listing presentation. 
but I'm going to do all of my marketing in the morning. I'm going to do my money-making activity. And then I'm going to go look at my emails. Then I'm going to go look at uh, you know, my, my social media posts and any type of comments. So again, focus on being organized and focus on what to do first in the morning such that you have money-making activities to bring you leads, to bring you money. Going back to our agenda. So let's look at strategies now that realtors can, can use to attract buyers and or sellers. Here's where I, my goal here is to just open up your mind. There's going to be a lot of strategies here. Some you're going to say great, and some you're going to say haven't got any desire to do it. My, my goal here was to kind of give you as much as, you know, information as possible. And then you pick and choose the top three that you want to accomplish in 2024. So I sent this out to you guys in advance. Uh, it's the Realtor Business Plan Strategy. I say pick number one here and then up to three more. These will become the legs under your table. So the first one was home buy. That is staying in contact with your current book of business. It's an automated drip campaign for past clients and for prospects. So you, as you add them in, it's going to ask, is this a, a past client or is this a prospect? And it's going to stay in front of them for you on a monthly basis. You're going to make personal phone calls three times a year. We've talked about that. Um, the home bot is going to give them updated value of their home each month and the equity buildup and then what they can do with that equity buildup. And it, what it's going to do, too, is you can direct your book of business to loan products for them or their family, meaning that as you call them, if uh, let's say that down payment was a challenge for them or you know that they needed something where they only had to come up with 1%, you gotta remember renters, renters have at least the first month's rent and security deposit in the bank. So again, if that is a $1,500 a month rental and security is $1,500, they have $3,000 in the bank. If all they gotta do to get into the home buying market is come up with 1% of their own funds, that means on a $300,000 home, 1% is $3,000. They've got that in the bank. It is up to you and me and Tony. We need to educate them on how they can go convert themselves from a renter and becoming a home owner. So let's take a look, real quick look at HomeBot. What is, what is HomeBot? Why, why should I as a realtor want this? So let's just go over here and take a look at HomeBot. Here we go. Help your clients build wealth. What is HomeBot? The value of HomeBot for agents, the client's experience in getting your account started. HomeBot is a long-term customer nurturing portal that empowers customers to build wealth through home ownership. You know, it's going to give them an update. It's going to show them the historical trend on the value of their home. It's going to let them know what you've paid so far in principal and in interest. That interest adds up. There's a lot of money that you pay over a 30-year mortgage. If you switch to a 15-year or a 25-year, this is the green that you would save, the money you would save. If you go to a 10-one-year arm, this is money you're not going to save. Home buyers receive regular updates on their home value. Again, it comes with your picture. It comes with, hi, you're the realtor, and that this is the latest update, the estimated value of your home, and recommendations on what they can do with it. Hi, if you bought another home, how much could you afford? Well, if you buy your dream home, you could buy up to 763000 Would you like more details? Would you like to rent your home and buy another? More details. Would you like to buy an investment property? Would you like to sell and just pocket the cash? Again, they can click on this in which it then gives you notification that they want more information, more detail on some of these strategies. Buyers can take advantage of intelligent home search with community and value insights. If it's one of your prospects, they can click find a home and it will help them find homes within their city or within their zip code. How does HomeBot help real estate agents? It positions you as the real estate expert. It also positions you in front of them every single month so nobody else can get in front of them. If, if you know, I receive on my, my real estate that I own, I get updates from Zillow and Redfin every single month. And quite honestly, I look forward to them. I click on them. I open them. I want to know what they think my property is worth. If you started sending to your past clients what their home is worth every month, 
they're going to want to know that they're going to, they're going to open that email and quite possibly take, you know, hit a button for additional strategies for you to help them with. It's a high value dynamic monthly email nurturing. The, the receive client behavioral data tracking via inner portal activity feed, meaning if they click on one of those other feeds that they'd like to buy another investment property uh, or buy their, buy their uh, dream home, it's going to, it's going to give you that data back and have you, you know, contact them. Customers can easily connect with you on property questions or scheduling because there is, you know, if you have any questions, contact me, the realtor, and there's no external ads. Not nobody else. Nobody else is on this portal, but you and your clients, your, your contacts stay close to only you. The marketing automation that keeps clients engaged every month, you know, the, the, uh, the system, HomeBot looks at public records, the MLS, uh, Freddie Mac, and what it does is it's, it, it takes into consideration um, all that data comes up with the value of these homes and gives them strategies that then they can click on because you'll be sending it to them via text or via email or both. And they can see then uh, what some of the strategies that their equity can be used for should it be for a second home investment property or upgrading. Again, 60, greater than 60% monthly engagement. I'm surprised it's that low. I mean, if, if any of you have ever done any email campaigns, you know that if you get a two or 3% open uh, uh, ratio, you're like, wow, that is a great email campaign. Here, you're getting greater than 60% open. You know, that people want to know, want to see what their home is worth. There's less than a 2% unsubscribe going on. So get you get notified when customers interact with HomeBot. Use HomeBot data to discuss your client's future plans and position yourself as their real estate advisor. If they even change the value, they're, they're, they're able to go in and actually change this value if they like it. If they change it, you're going to get notified. If they say, I'm thinking about buying my dream home, you're going to get notified. You're going to be their real estate advisor should they decide any particular month to take action to do something other than just live in the home that they're in. It's co-branded for real estate professionals. You add your leads and your referrals and your contacts remain yours with data only that you can see. The lender agent co-branding is available for mutual clients. The real estate agent's brand is up here. The loan officer's branding is at the end. It becomes a listing machine for real estate agents. They want to get buy their dream home. They got to list the old home. They want to buy a, a investment property. Fantastic. They want to buy a second home. Fantastic. It becomes a real estate agent's beautiful lead production machine. Use HomeBot during open houses or home tours. Show it off at your at, on your phone. Load these prospects in. Let them know that you know you're going to be sending them updates of item you know of homes that were just listed in their in their area. Uh, sign up prospects on on the spot. Take in-personal real estate market conversations to a whole new level. Share the word on, in, on social media. What is your home worth? Find out how. Click this link. Okay. So when they click the link, it's going to take them to a personalized intake page where they can now load in their name, their email, their home address, etc. And they've now loaded up uh, they've input their information for your system, your home bot, to start sending them fair market value of their home now and every month thereafter. Great, great concept. It's a unique lead generating landing pages to collect leads. You see the, the wealth power of extra principal payments. So if they were to make extra principal payments by going to a 15 year or a 25 year, they're going to reduce the amount of interest that they have to pay and save that amount of money. Uh, there's landing pages within HomeBot where people can say, you know, I'm, I, I want to join. It's free, you know, put in their information and then you can start dripping on them. Starting HomeBot is pretty easy. You receive an invitation from Tony Marino. You're going to select the pro, pro plan or the trial. And then you just complete your profile within five to 10 minutes and you're set to go. There is a promotional account. The HomeBot trial account, you get 25 clients that you can put in. Try it. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. It's fully functional. There's no time limit to keep it. 
So if you keep it on, you know, 25 or less, great. There is no CC credit card dot down to start. So see if it see if it fits your your major clients. See if it fits you because it's not going to cost you anything. The pro version, I think, is very inexpensive. The fifty dollars setup fee is waived by just putting in the promo code Guild Fifty, and then what you're going to do is you go from twenty five clients, you go to five hundred clients, and your and a lender co sponsor is required. That's Tony Marino. And you're gonna you get that for twenty five dollars a month. So if you have three, four, five hundred clients and prospects that you want to drip on every single month automatically, what better you know twenty five dollars a month? It's terribly inexpensive. But try it out for free. Put in twenty five of you know of your of your clients that you want uh, you know them to start seeing this and see what reaction you get from them. Call them up. See if they're enjoying receiving the monthly updates. I'll be surprised if they're not. So adding your clients to HomeBot is really easy. First name, last name, email, zip, address, uh, optional fields are appraised value and sold price. So let's co-market with, with HomeBot. Um, Tony has great deep expertise in the mortgage industry. Um, he has so many loans to fit your life. Uh, he, he's a direct lender and he's got speed and support, you know, he can get uh, closings done within 17 days um, once your your file has been uh, pre pre underwritten. Um, so again, I highly recommend that you know you get back get back to Tony with those who want HomeBot. Again, I I printed out the strategies for you, and I, I shouldn't say print. I sent them to you because what I want you to do is circle as we talk. If you want a HomeBot account, circle it. These are things you know. Send it back into Tony or call Tony and say, Tony, these three, four items I want, I want to get, I want to take advantage of. Get me signed up. Okay, so enough about HomeBot. Let's go to another strategy. Expires. How do we win every expired listing? How do we win every canceled listing using Listing Booster? This doesn't even have a, a, a free trial period. It's free to the realtor. And it is super powerful. You're going to log into the MLS. You're going to look for an expired. You're going to look for a canceled in your in your area, in your neighborhood. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to find one. You're going to time block the activity in your Google Calendar, like I showed you. And you're going to upload the pictures, the property description. And you're going to create a property website, a text messaging uh, sign writer, uh, all sorts of great information that Listing Booster provides for you, making you look very high tech and somebody that is highly capable of marketing someone's property. Like I said before, this is a time of year where expireds are in the MLS. They're not wanting their property listed during Thanksgiving, Christmas, into New Year's. So this is the time to introduce yourself and your, your products. So what does Listing Booster look like? So let's take a look at it. Listing Booster, the always win the listing marketing suite. You should be able to hear this as I've modified my sound that you can hear this. With. In a market where inventory is low, this four-bedroom home will not last long. Or is it already too late? See this listing in its entirety on MoveTube.
Okay, move to. It is becoming a very popular site for people that are looking to purchase homes for them to go searching. It's the only interactive national real estate search por portal available on popular streaming television devices. Uh, please pay attention to the fact that it is available on Roku, Amazon, Apple TV, Google Android. I mean, these are where the, the, the I'm going to call it the, the younger buyers are, are going to streaming. They're cutting the cord. They're no longer on cable and they're streaming. And now they can see MoveTube on these on these streaming devices. Again, here, once we found MoveTube on Roku, we stopped using uh, Zillow. When we got used to the large photos on our 70-inch screen, we didn't want to go back to using the phone or the PC. Our home search is now a family entertainment event. Where to find MoveTube on streaming television? When we said on Roku, right here. On Google TV, Android, right here. On Apple TV, sitting right there. Amazon, right here. So it's very accessible on many of the streaming TVs. Uh, Listing Booster, uh, listings are imported into Listing Booster, get premier placement, and are enhanced with movies on MoveTube. They also appear on the home screen when just listed in their area. So again, they're... One of the one of the side benefits of Listing Booster is you get these movie trailers, and these movie trailers can then be posted into Facebook, to Twitter, uh, which is now X, uh, LinkedIn. Uh, you can put them into um, Instagram, and again, the younger generation will see these as a as a teaser, as an introduction to your home, this new listing that you just listed uh, in their area. Listing booster agents are featured on their listing screens and their contact information is shown below. Each listing booster agent listing is enhanced with an animated slideshow movie and featured in the screen saver. Each listing movie and listing screen saver segment concludes with a contact agent screen. For more information, contact this agent, call or scan the QR code. Listing Booster agents gets their own agent panel screen on their listing and can be contacted by scanning the QR code. Listing Booster loan officers get their own lender panel. The QR code opens up to their branded mobile pre-approval form. MoveTube. Agents, leverage MoveTube to win your listings. Tell your seller prospects that you will be featuring the listing on all the popular streaming TV devices. How many people are doing this right now? You would be so ahead of the curve by being able to put into your listing presentation that you're going to put their listing on popular streaming devices like Roku. Probably many of your clients have Roku or Apple TV or Amazon Fire TV, Android or Google TV. You'll then announce their listing on social media with a short movie trailer called a listing trailer. Don't leave this out because agents are telling us that it makes a big difference when prospects are deciding on which agent to choose, this makes you the green fish. This makes you having a unique selling proposition versus being just one of the other goldfish. Announce new listings with the Hollywood South 30 second listing trailers with movie trailer guy narration and cinematic music designed for social media platforms like TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and more. So the rest of the suite. Your listing booster comes with just listed open house, sold digital and print flyers with local data that makes you the local expert. Social media shareable digital property reports are designed to not only sell the property, but also the area. So not only the property, but here's essential places nearby, restaurants nearby. So this is all being made available through your listing booster. Social media images, ideal for sharing on most social media platforms. Many versions are available and colors can be changed to match your company theme. Again, each listing receives a dedicated text message code, LBR 700, 844, 573, et cetera, can be added to your digital ads and sign writers. Of course, you for a, a sign writer costs you less than $10 as a realtor. Anytime you have a listing or you're advertising another agent's listing, you put it into, into Listing Booster. You get this text message code. You go create or, or purchase 
a sign writer with these codes on and stick it in the front lawn. As people drive by and see for instant information or for more information on this home, text this number to that number, you get notification, you can call them while they're still sitting in their car at curbside and let them find out if they're interested in, in a showing. Property websites might be old news to us. However, sellers are still always impressed with having a website dedicated to their property. Each comes with an op optional lead capture opt-in pop-up form. So when they go to this, it pops up and it asks for their name, email, and phone number. Never leave this feature out of your listing presentation. Again, let your clients know when you're doing listing presentations that you're going to create a property website dedicated to their property and that you're going to use an opt-in form to capture leads as people try to get to their property. Show off your listings with full screen animated virtual tour. It automatically creates a virtual tour. It's available both in branded and MLS compliant non-branded. Again, for you realtors that you know, know or don't know, you can you have to upload a non-branded virtual, you can upload a non-branded virtual tour into your MLS listing. All you do is take the link that Listing Booster gives you for the non-branded version, you copy it, you paste it into your MLS, and now when you or other agents send out your listing, because somebody might be interested in your property, they'll also be able to get the blue link for a virtual tour and see everything that you've created, the beautiful virtual tour that's been created within Listing Booster. Manage your listings on Facebook Marketplace with your Facebook marketing posting tool. People look in Facebook Marketplace when buying or selling. So you want to get your new home listing into Facebook. And again, Listing Booster gives you one click and you're now your, your listing, your property website has now been put into Facebook Marketplace. You can also do a video walkthrough mobile app designed to easily record video on your listing. So you can take your cell phone, you can record it, you can upload it, and you can then you know, put it into your property website. This feature is now available, however, and is still being enhanced. Now it's time to, to let the seller know everything, everything that you will now be offering with your modifiable PowerPoint listing presentation. With Listing Booster, you get a PowerPoint listing presentation. This can become part of your listing presentation. This presentation highlights all the features of Listing Booster to help you win the listing. Easily add your branding and additional slides if, if needed. This presentation is downloadable right inside the dashboard. So when you get your free Listing Booster account, you can download the PowerPoint presentation, modify it, put in your picture and your contact and your your Realty logo, and now it's personalized. Add any additional slides you want, and you've got a fantastic uh, listing presentation. Okay, enough about Listing Booster, but you can see here that whether you get a listing, whether you go after an expired listing, whether you go after um, a canceled listing, or if you go after a FISBO, you can upload them into Listing Booster and get this plethora of of marketing tools that you can then demonstrate to people that this is why you should choose me. I'm the green fish, I'm unique, I'm high tech. So again, trying to, trying to expand your mind saying, would you like a free listing booster? Circle it on, on your strategies here and let Tony know that you would like to have one. We talked about FISBO marketing using uh, listing booster. Again, I won't belabor it, but I did give you a link uh, I sent this out to you in advance. If you click the link, it'll take you to Zillow. It'll take you to Fizbo's. You can then put in your zip code or zip codes multiple and see all the Fizbo's that are in your area. And again, you can then um, utilize what you see in their listing, upload the pictures, uh, upload uh, the description, create the property website, create the sign writer, create the, the uh, open house flyers, the property flyer, and uh, you can now demonstrate what it is that you could do to, to convert a, a FISBO from a FISBO to a listing for you. The key to remember with FISBOs is they only stay FISBOs for about three to four weeks. They think it's easy. They think they can do it. And again, um, I would, if I were you, I would initially contact FISBOs and I would say, let me help you attract buyers. You're going to turn your realtor hat around and you're not a realtor at that point. 
What you're doing is you're a marketing consultant and you're saying, I'm going to try to attract more buyers by putting a yard sign in your front lawn that says, for additional information on this property, text this number to that number. I will do this free of charge because it's not going to take you that long to upload it into Listing Booster, you know, their pictures and all their other good um, the description of the property, et cetera. Put the sign writer in there. But again, because they're not in the MLS, okay, and again, you're only going to choose those FISBOs that are not in the MLS. One of the things I tell you here is make sure it's not already in the MLS because some of the FISBO services actually do put uh, the FISBOs into the MLS. Not a lot, but there are some. And what you don't want to do is have an ethics violation and that you're advertising another agent's listing. But for the most part, if it's not in the MLS, uh, it's a FISBO, put a sign writer in their front yard and you know start to collect some leads. But without being in the MLS, without being in social media, without being in Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, you're going to find that by week three and four, when you call them up, because you're going to call them weekly. How's it going? How was the weekend? Did you have any showings? And by the third or fourth week, they might say, you know, this isn't all that it's cracked up to be. And that's when you can, when you hear the crack in their voice or the disappointment in their voice, you're going to say, maybe I could help you with giving your home greater exposure. First off, instead of just a sign writer, why don't I post this into all the social media sites? Why don't I put you into the MLS? You know, why don't I conduct an open house for you? So there's all sorts of things that you can do to convert them from a FISBO to, you know, a, a, a client for listing. And again, time block it, put it in your Google Calendar and follow up. You can also find FISBO leads by looking at, just drive your neighborhood, look for lawn signs. I see them all the time in my neighborhood. For sale by owner, write down their phone number, call them up, try not to convince them not to be a FISBO. You know, they've made that decision. Try to be their marketing consultant, their marketing help. Can I help you get more buyers? Can I put a, a yard sign in the front lawn to bring you more buyers? And by the way, in, in, I've yet to see where a FISBO where you say, and if I bring you a buyer, you, you would be willing to pay me at least the buyer's commission. Because FISBO is all they're really trying to do is, is save themselves the listing broker's commission. Most, 99% of the FISBOs are willing to pay a commission if you bring them a qualified buyer. So again, see if you can't bring them some buyers. Use your high technology tools. Advertising other agents' listings using Listing Booster. You, again, you saw Listing Booster. Uh, under broker reciprocity, you can clone other agents' listings into your into your account. And but all I would ask is that you get written permission. Make sure that you know that you don't end up with any type of uh, uh, disputes. Call the listing agent. Most again, ninety nine percent of the listing agents want their listings sold ASAP. If they have you willing to market their property, they are going to love you. Again, another, another, uh, another. I'm going to call it uh, strategy is to create commercials to brand yourself using Facebook posts. Um, you then would take one of those posts and you would make an ad out of it and use free landing pages to collect anybody who's interested in what you just posted. So here's a good example. Here is some Facebook posts that I have done in the past. So for example, here on Monday, if given $10,000 today, would you buy a home tomorrow? For existing homeowners and first time home buyers, click this link, that's the landing page, to find out if you qualify for up to $10,000 in down payment and closing cost assistance. $10,000 makes people think, hey, I don't have 10,000, you can get me 10,000 and help me with down payment and, you know, because. I'm a renter and I've got $3,000 for, you know, and you're telling me that's good enough for, for what I have to put into this deal. But, you know, what about closing costs? And here you're giving me $10,000. I want to know a little bit more. So again, if, and then what you can do is you can also then create, and again, we'll help you create, show you how to create landing pages for free within Google. So for example, here is... Here's a landing page for that. Home ownership made easier with down payment assistance. Congratulations. You're on your way toward home ownership. Find out if you qualify. So they read the Facebook ad. They clicked on the link. The link took them here. It says it's easy to get started. Fill in your information. We'll contact you. What is your name, your email, your phone number? And then there's a submit button. They submit it. It goes onto an Excel spreadsheet that's in your Google Docs. And you get an email notification from Google that says, hey, 
somebody just um, filled in, you know, somebody just filled in your landing page, go contact them. Kind of a cool thing. So again, you got landing pages that you can create for free for 2024. Um, you've got uh, these cool, cool um, Facebook posts. Again, I will, I'll do a couple more here. Uh, what about this on Tuesday? Post, buying a home just got easier. If you can contribute 1% of the purchase price from your own funds and the remainder came from down payment assistance or seller credits, would you buy a house tomorrow? Amazing. Would you like to know more? Click this link. The link goes to that landing page you just created in, in, in Google Docs and it goes onto an Excel spreadsheet and you get an email notification and you start contacting leads. Very, very cool. And then maybe on Wednesday, you're going after sellers. Get your free report on 90 things you can't neglect when selling your home. Attention homeowners, this is Jay Kiltz, it's Home Smart Realty. Get a copy of this powerful eight-page report, 90 things you can't neglect when selling your home. If you'd like a copy of it, click this link. The link is to the landing page that we created in Google Docs that goes into an Excel spreadsheet that gives you an email notification. And then on Thursday, maybe you post something like, what is your home worth? Are you curious as to what homes in your neighborhood are selling for? More important, are you curious as to what your home is worth? If so, click this link, and that link would take them then to your HomeBot landing page. And home, they would fill in their name, email, and all that good stuff. And then they would start getting every single month an update on the fair market value of their home. Because maybe they're not ready to sell today, but maybe it's in three months, six months, 12 months. But now your automated system is in contact with them every single month. Love it, love it, love it. And you can also do a ad on any one of these. So again, you're going to be doing that Thursday. Friday, you might do a post similar to this. Buy a four-unit occupied building for only 3.5% down. What did I say there? A two, a three, or a four-unit building? I can buy it for only 3.5% down? Amazing. To, to learn more, click the link. The link goes to a landing page you created in Google Docs that goes onto an Excel spreadsheet that gives you an email notification when they, when they fill out your landing page. Again, any one of those five posts can be your ad for the month because you're going to do one ad a week for four weeks, spend about $35 times four, you'll spend about $120, $140. And you're going to follow up on those leads because you got to remember, when you do posts within Facebook, only your friends see the post. What I mean by friends are those people that, and I shouldn't say all your friends, I've got 3,500 friends in Facebook, but only the people that I interact with, that I like their posts, I comment on their posts, they comment on mine, they like mine, we're interacting with each other. And that's probably anywhere from 50 to 100 people. So again, when you post in Facebook, yeah, you're gonna get 50 to 100 people that are gonna be able to see it. If you wanna get to thousands of people, I mean, thousands of people, you have to do a Facebook ad. And that's gonna get you out there. And then, you know, with a link to a landing page, such that then, you know, if they're interested in more information, just like you saw in the Facebook post, they click it and it goes to your Excel spreadsheet and you get an email notification. So kind of a cool, cool strategy. Because um, again, once you have these in there, once you do these first five, then you start, you know, you know, rinse and repeat. Then all of a sudden you start doing the very same thing the following Monday. You do this, except that all you got to do is copy the post from a week ago and repost it into Facebook. And, and the reason that I want you guys in, in Facebook every single day, and, and once you do the first week, the, the heavy lifting, the copying pasting is really easy. I would change up the image. What I would do is I'd copy and paste the text. I would change this image of the $10,000 to some other image that you can get out of you know Google images. And you know you're it's taking you, 30 seconds, it's taking you a minute. If you're slow, it's taking you two minutes to do a post in Facebook, but you're consistent. You're out there in front of that 50 to 100 people. They know what you're all about. You're branding yourself. And at the same time, you're doing a ad. Oh, maybe you're gonna do the, the 1% ad in Facebook in the second month. Okay, so again, um, I should say second week. So again, you have pictures, you have verbiage. All you've got to do is execute, post into Facebook. If you want to extend it into Twitter, LinkedIn, you know, great. But I'll be, I'll give you an A plus if you guys start posting daily into Facebook, doing a Facebook ad once a week um, and capturing leads. All right, going back to some of the strategies. 
And again, uh, before I leave Facebook, what I want to do is you can also ask 20 friends to be friends of, of friends um, and you can send out messages. What do I mean by that? Um, if you want to grow the number of people that you can send messages to, when you go to Facebook and here's my Facebook and let's go to my friends. OK, so here's friends. Um, let's go to Ken Trudy. If I go to one of my friends. Now, now I'm at Ken Trudy, right? So what I want to do is I want to go to his friends. I click on his friends. And some people, you know, are already, you know, it's a blank. That means they're already friends of mine. But let's say, um, let's just pick somebody here. Um, Lauren and Cavalli. Okay. Um, or here, Steve, Steve Paulus. Let's go to him. I can go and click on add him as a friend. And now I've sent a friend request to Steve. And how long would it take me to click on 20 of these? Boom, boom, boom. It would take me less than a minute to click 20 add friends. And with that, I'm done with that aspect. I can click it off in my Google calendar. I can yellow it out that I've done that task. And then what I can do is I can then go back to my Facebook account. And I can start to then um, go to, because now now you know, I can go to my friends and I can start, say, with Ken again, start with Ken. And I can then message Ken. I can copy the Facebook post that said, you've given $10,000 today um, for your down payment and and uh, for down payment and closing costs. Would you uh, consider buying a home tomorrow? I would copy and paste that down here and then hit send. Um, how long is it going to take you to copy? And, and once it's copied, you just do paste, paste. You go to another friend, paste, go to another friend, paste, go to another friend, paste. And every time hit send. And inside the message, you've got that link that of that landing page that you created such that it says, and if you're interested in more information about how to get $10,000, click this link. So you're adding every day 20 friends. Every day you're sending out 30 messages. I mean, it's a great way to spread the word, to brand yourself. Um, sure, a couple of people may not like it. They may block you. But I mean, in the, in the long run, you're going to have more people that are just going to look at the message, uh, read it, do nothing about it, or do something about it. But it's a great way to continue to get your message out there. Okay, going back to strategies. We talked about Facebook Marketplace. There's People are selling things there, right? But do you ever ask yourself, are they moving? I know when I moved from Illinois, I moved to, to Denver and to Florida, Denver, Colorado, into Siesta Key, Florida. I had, I had furniture I wasn't taking with me. I started putting it out there in Facebook Marketplace. There's other people like me. And you, why aren't you contacting them? You know, they've got contact information when they're selling and saying, are you in the process of selling? I have high technology tools that will give your home great exposure. I create a property website. I do a I do te text messaging sign writers in your front lawn. I get you into all the social media sites. I get you into uh, all the streaming uh, TV stations. Um, you know, you can do a, a, a little quickie intro and find out if they're interested in having a meeting with you. Um, you can even give them links to your PowerPoint presentation on Listing Booster. There's all sorts of things you can do. So are they moving? Do they need to know what their home is worth? Uh, if you'd like to know what your home is worth, click this link and it's your link to your HomeBot account. And what is the HomeBot going to do? Every single month, it's going to let them know what their fair market value is. So again, why aren't you doing that as part of your strategies? Because it won't take you that long. Dedicate what? Would you dedicate an hour? Once a week to doing that, you might just find that you've you know made contact with you know a dozen people, and somebody wants to know what their home is worth, or somebody wants to um, um, you know find out more about listing their home with your high technology tools. I won't belabor the Facebook garage sales. You you can you can look up you know put in search Facebook garage sales, and you'll find a bunch of them in your neighborhood. Again, you can. Within garage sales, people are selling things. It's the same thing as marketplace. If they're selling things, contact them. Are they in need of knowing what their home is worth? Are they selling furniture and kids stuff, et cetera, just because they're selling or is it because they're moving? And then there's real estate groups. Again, you can put your services, you can put your, uh, I can help you with you know buying a home for 1% down, for zero down. 
Um, you know, there's you know, there's more programs that you're going to learn about uh, as as the months and weeks go by with Tony. But again, there's a lot of great real estate groups that you can post your information into. First time home buyer seminars. We have had nothing but great success with this with the realtors that do this. Um, you should be doing this. You don't have to do any heavy lifting. All you have to do is find six people. Go to your wedding list. You got 150 to 200 people. Find six people that want to know more about how to buy a home for as little as 1% of the purchase price. The rest of it is up to us. We've got the Zoom. We'll create the invite for you. You just suck the date and give us the emails and we will send it out. You're going to co-host it. You're going to be the MC for the night. You're going to say hello to everybody. You're going to introduce that welcome to your first time home buyer seminar. And today we have Glenn Marino as our guest speaker, uh, who's going to let us know more about how homeownership got easier in 2024. Uh, again, I don't know why you wouldn't be doing this because you don't have, you know, it's our Zoom, our invite. You just have to come up with six more or more emails. I think it's a pretty easy um, way for you to get in front of a lot of buyers. Serving your community matters. This is for policemen, fire, military teachers, um, nurses, doctors, EMTs. The appraisal is paid for by the lender, by Tony. He also gives you $7,500 worth of national merchant discount coupons, good for five years. The realtor can offer a percentage, say 10% of their commission as a rebate check. Um, you, can, you can conduct land trust, lunch and learns. Again, uh, policemen especially do not want their property listed in their name. They want it held secret. And so we've done many a, a lunch and learn on land trust. Again, something totally se separate from this. Um, you know, we'll maybe have a separate uh, uh, class on, on that and why you should uh, put that out there. Uh, we do provide all the free marketing uh, to the realtors. Uh, the, the, the flyer for that looks a lot like this, serving your community matters. You chose military, police, doctors, nurses, teachers, firefighters, EMTs. Uh, we're thanking them for their service. And that 10% of the Realtors Commission is given back to you. It's optional. You do not have to. You can still be in this program. If you want to give zero away, that's fine. Because we're going to give, we're going to pay for their appraisal. You know, anywhere from around $500 on average for an appraisal. We're going to give them a discount on title closing fees. For if they if the seller, because again, as a buyer, we don't control the title company. Seller does. If he if he does it with say first American title or some of the participating title companies, we can get them a discount. But the big the big other thing is that they're gonna get seven thousand five hundred dollars in, in national merchant discount coupons from people like uh Target, Bed Bath and Beyond, um Costco. So I mean it's names that you want when you buy a home, these are places where you can use these coupons. And they're good for five years. It's not like you got to use them right away. And so, again, um, great, great program. We're a great big thank you program. Um, it gives you reason with this flyer to go out and talk to police departments, firehouses, VFW halls, and bring a box of donuts. Going back to our strategies. What is your home worth postcard? Again, I'll show you what it looks like. This is something, remember, we talked about doing 200 on a Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning when they're out trimming in their bushes and cutting their lawns and you can meet them face to face. Uh, you could do something like. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. All right. Here is a postcard that we can create with and for you uh, with your contact information, uh, free home value report. Uh, you know, we can give you this. You can create it yourself if you like. We can create it. Uh, we create a landing page for you that uh, they can then get the, the free report on what their home is worth. And you walk the neighborhood. Uh, again, these come two to a page. Uh, you can probably print these for less than $100. You, if you went to a printer, uh, uh, fast sign, someone like that, uh, they would print two to a page and you would end up with, if you printed a thousand, uh, you'd be under a hundred dollars. You have them cut them in half. Now you got 2000. So take, take the top 200 on a Saturday, 
and walk one side of the street with a cup of coffee and the dog, cross the street, come back, hit the other 100 houses, and you're done for that Saturday. You've met some people, you've dropped off for some people, and then just wait for people to click to know, want to know what their home is worth. Um, again, what you could do is the landing page could be your home bot, where I want to know what my home is worth. They fill out the landing page for home bot, and now all of a sudden, every single month, they're getting what is their home, what the value of their home is. And, you know, when they take action, you then get notification from HomeBot and you get to find out if you're helping them list their home because they want to take some action. They want to move up to another dream home. Great, great way. Uh, non, it's non-techie. It's ni nice little exercise. Walk uh, 100 homes one way, walk 100 homes the other way, and you're done for a Saturday. Take you less than an hour. Going back to our strategies, again, uh, Remind tool, you can find out those homeowners that have been identified with a high probability of selling. I'm just going to show you where it is, um, and I'll show you the door hanger. Um, so let's first go to Remind. Okay, this is, this is being logged into the MLS. Over here is your Tools button. You click on it. And it drops down and there's Remind. Click on Remind. And then what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to click on which, which areas. Please sign back in. Okay. So here is Remind. Um, again, I can put up here, say I wanted to know in zip codes, uh, 60540. Um, and there's six here, 19 here, 112. Again, um, they have a high score probability. Um, their sales price was, well, I could change this because it's way too many. Uh, this says under 250,000, I would go higher. And it's in this zip code. There's a lot of them with a high probability of selling. So maybe what you want to do is introduce yourself. Why don't you do a, I'm going to call it a, a, uh, a remind door hanger. This again comes from Avery labels. It's a, 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 a 16950 label. Uh, it says, are you selling in the next six months? You notice there's two of them. It's perforated down the middle. Yes. You, you separate them. You got two each time you print one of these. Check out the market materials I already created for the seller. This could be for somebody, an, another agent's listing. It could be for one of your listings and put in the 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 listing, uh, the property website uh, name, uh, the text message number that came out of Listing Booster, your contact information, a picture of the front of the house, and letting them know that you're going to give their home great exposure with a property website, with its own mobile application, with a sign writer in the front lawn, uh, you know, what you're, that you're going to be putting them into all the main major TV streaming uh, televisions. So again, this can be an, a great way for you to, you know, think of selling call uh, or what you can do is you can say, would you like to know what your home is worth? Put in the HomeBot uh, listing, you know, the, the HomeBot listing landing page. And now all of a sudden you've captured them and now HomeBot's going to do all the heavy lifting for you every single month, telling them what their home is worth. Another great way to build prospect lists, to build people that want to do business with you, because not only do you have the tools, but you're staying in front of them every single month. Okay, we're getting near the end. Zillow for, for rent by owners. You can put these into your HomeBot. Um, send them the ferry. What is Zillow for? for rent by, by, by owners. It's landlords. It's landlords looking for renters. But wouldn't it be nice if I was, if I owned property and I was a landlord, if all of a sudden you sent me every month what my property was worth, you know, what my equity is, uh, would I like to buy another investment property? Um, you know, that, that would be, you know, that would be a nice thing to, to, to have, you know, to have them in home bot. And again, it's not going to take much work on your part. They're already advertising. They already own the property. And what you're doing is you're telling them that you would just like to continuously let them know what the fair market value of their home is. Would you mind if I you know, send you a link 
that you can fill out and that you can get every single month from me what the value of your of your property is. Well, it sounds pretty simple, sounds pretty easy. And then when they get ready to buy their next investment property, because you're the realtor that's been in front of them every single month, they might just call you. Okay, probate court, I'm not gonna go into that marketing. Um, Red X provides you with pre foreclosures. The subscription is $39.99 per month. Another strategy where, you know, people that are in pre foreclosure, they got a seller, they're going into foreclosure. So again, this is something where you can talk to them about your marketing tools, um, your listing booster, putting them into, uh, you know, t you know, streaming them into uh, uh, streaming in Roku and Apple TV, et cetera, uh, get, getting them uh, a sign writer in their front lawn to capture buyer leads. I won't go into B2B marketing right now. Uh, you can do open houses for other agents. Uh, you can do video marketing. Love doing that uh, with educational videos, um, tip of the month, um, showing people uh, the three buckets of cash needed at closing, who pays for down payment, who pays for closing costs, who pays for escrows. And last but not least, um, do you need marketing flyers co-branded with Tony? Um, if you, since I sent this to you in advance, I'm gonna let you click on this link and it'll take you to Tony's site. And then I want you to click on mortgage loans. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna show you, in fact, I think I can, I can go there with this, click and just show it to you. I'm not going to go through them all. So here's Tony's site and it says, click on mortgage loans. And as you can see, he's got a 1% down payment program. This is a cool one, the 321 Home Plus. This is 3% down. The customer, your, your buyer gets $2,000 from Tony in a Home Depot gift card. Compliments of you and Tony. And then he gets back the customer gets back anywhere from $500 to $1,500 in closing costs uh, from Freddie Mac, depending upon their income level. So again, great program. Um, doctor program, 100% financing for, for, for doctors. Down payment assistance, that's that $10,000, up to $10,000 that you can get in the state of Illinois. Um, Green Smart, where you can add in another 5% of the appraised value of a home into the loan amount to pay for things like a washing machine, a dryer, a dishwasher, all these energy efficient items. If you need those, you can add that to this loan amount. Um, also, you know, lock and shop. You can lock for up to 120 days with, with this program. Um, renovation loans. You can buy a home and fix it up. You get 96.5% of the purchase. You get nine, you get 96.5% of the fix up all in one loan. Take a look, click on, click on these buttons. Uh, here's the three, two, one that we had just talked about. And it's going to let you know more about, you know, what's involved, bring a 3%, get a 2000 e-card for Home Depot and get 500 to 1500 toward closing costs. All great stuff, but these all come in flyers. My whole point is going back to strategy. My point is, do you have flyers co-branded with all of these cool programs? And why not? Why don't you? They're free. Contact Tony. He'll get you flyers that you can now start handing out to clients. These should be in your briefcase. And as you see someone, as you greet someone, as you meet someone, as you talk to a family member, hand them out one or two of these that might make a difference in their life. We will be having another program about the seven step killer listing presentation. Um, I take some of the aspects out of listing booster. That'll be a future class. So having said that, I'm going to then go back. We'll finish the class by saying, okay, we had stopped filling out this form because we wanted to first know what are the opportunities to us? And I said, now I can fill this out. I looked at the, all those realtor strategies. I want to do more seller educating. I want to do, um, I want, to, I want to go after expireds, cancels. I want to go after FISBOs. Uh, I want to do Facebook ads. I want to uh, ask people what their home is worth. I want to do postcards in the neighborhood. Buyer education. I want to let them know that uh, they can buy a home for as little as 1% down. I want to do uh, home buyer education seminars. Um, I want to expand my knowledge. Everything that Glenn talked about, I don't know. But I want more. I'm going to contact Tony. 
I'm going to set up, you know, a one-on-one -on -one consultation with Tony or with Glenn to learn more of what I don't know. And again, we're not going to teach you all these things. I want you to, I want you to do one, the book of business with Homebot. And I want you to pick no more than three more. And that's going to be your plan for 2024. I want a time to partner in the community. That means that serving your community matters. I want to improve my branding. That means being consistent within Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and in Instagram every single day. It's not like, oh, I'll do it uh, today and I'll do it again in a week from now. You're not going to get any branding. No one's going to remember you if you're here, there, and all around the square. I want to review and improve my CRM. That's HomeBot. Go get it. It's free for the first 25. Go pay $25 a month and start you know, letting technology and automation stay in front of people, letting them know what the fair market value of their home is, or if they're prospects, help them find a home and let them know when new homes are being listed in, in their zip code. Improve your social media presence. We talked about that. Then going into a deeper dive. What are the top three opportunities? Well, I just made that you'll you fill them out the way you want. But I said, upload past clients into HomeBot. Upload prospects into HomeBot. Stay in front of my book of business every single month. That is a big goal of mine. Win every expired listing is a second goal using Listing Booster. Set up TV and Roku at car washes. One of, my, one of our realtors took the um, fact that he gave a Roku stick to a car wash. He, was, he went and did a car wash on his, on his own car. And he's standing in the waiting area and he's watching all these cars go by. And he asked the um, manager, he goes, how many cars do you guys do in a day? And the guy goes, oh, about, you know, about uh, 2,000. And he goes, 2,000, you got 2,000 people standing in your lobby. He says, if I gave you a free TV and a Roku stick, could I then stream my listings on your TV in your waiting room? And the guy said, sure, be great. You know, that, that wouldn't be a problem at all. It ended up the guy also owned about five other car washes and he got to put TVs in five other car washes. And now he's streaming his listings in these car washes. Uh, just an aside, but you know, it's another thinking outside of the box as to what you can do with Roku and streaming devices. And lastly, another one, a deep dive was serving your community. I want to get to be known more in my community. I want to be able to say thank you to the police, to the firemen, to teachers, you know, to doctors, nurses, and EMTs. I want to give back. And what tools are there going to be for success? Well, I need Listing Booster. It's free. I need HomeBot. It's free or it's $25 a month. I need social media postings and I need to create landing pages to capture leads. Identifying your clients. Where did you get your business in 2023? That's going to be give you a good idea as to where you should be marketing and then venturing out into where you can get additional clients. Did you get 30% of your, your business from past clients? some from advertising, if you did advertising, so much from friends and family, and wherever else. So on a scale of one to five, you know, how were you in getting leads from past clients? Well, three, I wasn't as successful as I could be. I wasn't staying in front of them. I wasn't staying in contact. What can you do to improve? Homebot and send them a newsletter. Advertising, I didn't do a lot, but I want to do more Facebook ads. Um, friends and family. Again, this is all just me, you know, throwing out ideas. Uh, they gave me some referrals. I want to invite them to home buying seminars, lender referrals. They ask, you ask your lenders for referrals. How about industry referrals? How about your home inspectors, your handymen, your appraisers? Asking them for referrals. Marketing strategy and social media presence. Facebook post a daily commercial with a landing page and a weekly ad. Instagram post the image from your Facebook ad in Instagram. Uh, use Zillow for sale by owners for buyer and seller opportunities. In LinkedIn, post your Facebook post in LinkedIn. In Twitter, X, post your Facebook post in, in Twitter. Again, optional. You'd be, you'd be getting uh, advanced credit if you went that far. Do Facebook and be happy with that in 2024. Lead generation. Uh, you, know, you can buy Zillow leads. You can buy Red X leads. You guys probably know other sources where you can buy leads and then track how many leads per year do you get, such that is it worth the money that you pay? Customer experience, how can I get a more positive online reviews? Open a Google page. There's something also called experience.com and you can ask for a review every transaction, every time you, you work with a buyer, every time you work with a seller. Uh, no more than they do. Uh, call your past clients three times a year. 
Let them know you know more than them. Let them know that you've got programs that they, their sons, their daughters, their brothers, their sisters can buy a home for as little as 1% down. That you got a program with 3% down that gives them $2,000 in a Home Depot uh, gift card. Um, be green. Your lending team uses Dr. Sign to stay green. Have a community presence. Start serving. Start with serving your community matters. Policemen, firemen, doctors, nurses, EMTs, and military. Be high tech. Show off your listing booster. Show that you're streaming on TV devices. Show that you're creating property websites. Show that you're you're putting sign writers in the front lawn. That if someone texts this number to that number, it downloads into the prospect's phone the complete property website with a virtual tour, and you get notification that someone's, you know, looking at your listing. CRM, this is again, you can go as little as HomeBot, maybe your broker owner, your manager has a CRM for you, but what you want to do is get automated lead capture, contact management, be, maintain your customer database there, do email marketing like HomeBot does every single month. Marketing automation automatically sends out what their home is worth and what they can do with the equity and it's wireless smartphone synchronization. Reflecting on performance, how will you track and measure your performance? How do you begin each day? Do you run, walk, yoga, meditate, or read? What are your non-negotiables? Your non-negotiables should be money-making activities. Nothing should get in the way of that. First, do money-making. Everything else is not money making That isn't making you a penny. But money making, absolutely put it in your, in your calendar and do it every single day. Does your calendar reflect these activities? It should. It's in your calendar. If not, how are you holding yourself accountable? Well, you're do, you're, 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 your report card is your daily, weekly success plan. And it, whether it's Tony or someone else, it's nice to have somebody to talk it over. Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? What are my successes? What are my shortfalls? Why am I having shortfalls? And what should I change in order to not have a shortfall in a certain area? What are the top 10 things on your mind right now? That's up to you. Commit to not overcommitting. Um, let's get rid of it by applying the four Ds. Delete it. If there's something you want to do, but it's not an essential part of growing your business, get rid of it. Defer it. This might be a goal, but not needed immediately. Put this on your calendar to revisit it at a later date. Delegate it. This is something that you plan to implement but doesn't have to be learned or done by you, by you. Utilize your tools and resources to put this into action. This is where virtual assistants, as you get bigger and better, maybe you're going to hire a virtual assistant. Maybe you're going to go to Fiverr and hire someone for $5 to do stuff. Do it. This is essential for your business. Make it happen. Take purposeful action. Again, what, what events are you going to be doing in 2024? Uh, are you going to be doing marketing mailers, open houses, team celebration, team charity events, community event booth. You know, I, I know that there's all sorts of event booths that you guys can get involved with. Uh, do you want to do a wine tasting every quarter? I can introduce you to a friend of mine who's a wine sommelier, and he'll come into your branch, to your office, and he'll do a wine tasting for you guys. Bring in your past clients. Bring in some of your better prospects. A better way to face-to-face -face them than to have a little fun with them. Uh, lunch and learns. How about doing some home buyer seminars on a monthly basis? And again, this is your sample success planner. This is that that Excel spreadsheet that I showed you earlier. It's another way of looking at it. Use this or use the Excel spreadsheet that I'm going to send you guys after this class. And last but not least, in closing, here are the recommended next steps. Create your calendar. Put in your money-making activities. Make it a priority every day to do it. Explore any opportunities from your broker that you're not using. Maybe you're going to find out they've got a great CRM or maybe they've got something else that you can use for free. Start using it. Start learning it. Schedule and set a time for learning opportunities. This would be either learning through your broker or learning from Tony or learning from me on, on items that you want to implement in 2024. Plan for monthly reviews with Tony. Consider finding a mentor or coach to keep you accountable to your plan. We are Guild Mortgage. We're here. We've got your back. We appreciate you. There was a lot that we've covered today. If there's any comments or questions, um, you know, please feel free to shout out, unmute yourself. Uh, otherwise, I'll be sending out 
many of the materials that we saw as handouts today to all the people that were registered. And we're here to help you build your business. We want you to be bigger and better in 2024 than you were in 23. You all have a great day and thanks for being here today.